Welcome to 574 Sports. My name is Tanner Camp, and to my left here, we have sophomore track star Ollie Smith. He is this week's Maple Leaf Athlete of the Week. He is most noted. He broke the school record in the 600-meter race with a time of a minute and 23.20 seconds, which and ended up finishing fifth overall in the event. Ollie, first of all, congratulations on this achievement. Thank you, Tanner. So how does it feel to be this week's Maple Leaf Athlete of the Week? Well, at first, it was a shock to me because um, while I'm not really, I've obviously never been a track athlete and the reason I'm here is to play soccer mm -hmm. and to become Maple Athlete of the Week for soccer was like something I was striving for but in track I was never really striving for it, it was more to keep fit and now I've actually achieved that because I've broken a school record. It's actually a really nice feeling, yeah. It's pretty cool. And as we know, you know, most noted for soccer, and this is your first year in track mm -hmm. and in your second meet after the, the trying event at Grand Valley State. You break a record, so very, very impressive. So knowing that this is your first season of track, what was your mindset? I mean, you talked a little bit about just staying in shape, but what, is there anything else? What was your mindset going into your first year of track ever, basically? Well, it, it changed throughout, but to begin with, my mindset was, like I said, just to get fit and work hard, get a bit stronger physically and like cardiovascularly. Um, and then as like, I started training and I realized that I'm actually, I've got potential, I could do s something pretty good in track. My mindset changed to, I was really motivated and I was really driven to like put all my effort into every session. So yeah, I think at this point now I'm very driven and want to work hard and hopefully get to nationals. And I mean the hard work showed in soccer and it's definitely shown yeah. in track already and it's only the beginning for indoor and then we can't wait for the rest of track so we're very looking forward to that. So how would you say you know even though it was an individual event uh, you know you got in practices you got a feel for the team you knew some of them of the other uh, members of that but how would you say that in terms of uh, as a group of even just sprinters long distance runners, but even just as a whole track and field yep. team. How would you say the chemistry level is, including, you know, just in practice, in, in meets, like in trying try in Grand Valley State, how would you say that the chemistry is? The team chemistry is very good. Um, I would say practices, Monday to Friday, they feel like team practices. Even though you're running for yourself and to improve yourself, the main goal at the end of the day is to have that great team chemistry because that makes you better as an individual because you're part of that team. And you know, people you know think individual that you, it's not much of a team sport, but it really does. Oh, it really I does. Know, it really I helps. know that you, you mentioned, we talked a little bit about the support that you got when you were actually running. Mm -hmm. um, what, what were you, we talked a little bit about this, what were you thinking as, as you were, you know, running and you know, you heard the support and you know, your only focus was to run, how did, what were you, you thinking as everyone was cheering you on? Well, at the start of the race, like Coach Patrick, he he was literally coach like in soccer, he coaches me throughout like the mm -hmm. race or the game. And at the start, he was like, he shouted, "Ollie, get out of the blocks fast!" So like, I like I was sprinting out the blocks, and then I settled into my pace. And then like dotted all the way around the track was like members of the team, and they were just like motivating me, like keep going, keep going. And then for the last sixty meters, because that's like the most physically like task in part, um, coach Patrick and Carl were just shouting at me to keep going. Because I feel like if you're running that by yourself, it's a lot easier to either slow down or almost give up. But when you've got your team supporting you and cheering you on, it gives you that extra push. And you know, Aaron Patrick, not only your soccer coach now also helping you with track, that, that's mm -hmm. super nice, you know, you're comfortable with him. So that's, that's great that, you know, that you can have him yeah. along your side for this. Um, so it really early in the track season, you know, you're already breaking a school record, but other than that, or maybe it is, what's been your favorite moment of the season so far? <laughs> my favorite moment of the season, it's a funny story actually. Um, for my first track meet at Trine, um, I ran the mile, and that was Coach Patrick had run the mile too. And um, <laughs> Rustin um, to, has said to me, if I beat Coach Patrick, he would buy me a Jimmy John's. So I would get a free Jimmy John's. <laughs> so like we're training throughout the week, like me and coach were training together for the mile. And when it came down to it, like I, because he's a very, he's very fit. Mm -hmm. I was just literally running right on his heels all the way around for the last, <laughs> I would say 90, 80 meters. 
And then I just like ran past him. <laughs> All I could think was like, right, free Jimmy Johns. I've got this free Jimmy Johns. <laughs> so like I was just sprinting and I finished. I think I did it in like five minutes flat. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was pretty good. So you ended up beating him then. Yeah. Then you got the free Jimmy Johns. Yeah, like two days later, Rustin gave me the free Jimmy Johns. <laughs> did it taste good? Yeah, really good. Good, good, good. <laughs> um, so kind of, you know, going off of that then, you know, it's still really early in the track season. You're brand new to this. What are you most looking forward to? Not even just for this season, mm -hmm. just in general, assuming you do track again in the future, what are you most looking forward to with track and field? I think I'm most looking forward to now actually setting goals to achieve. Because I achieved, I wouldn't even say I have achieved a goal because I never set that goal for myself. Mm -hmm. It's more, it's just kind of happened because of hard work and just from running basically. So I think setting goals and being able to strive for them and train in a way that like you're striving for something rather than training just for fitness, I think that would be pretty cool. And you know, you, you had that mindset before, you set a goal, you broke mm -hmm. a school record, we'll see what you do in the future, we're yeah. excited for that. For that, any final uh, thoughts, comments, inspirational quotes you want to give? Um, thoughts, I'm just very happy and lucky that I can be part of the soccer team and the track team. Um, comments, I would say that being, being able to break a school record and having that recognition is very, feels very important to me. And inspirational quotes, I would say, I think the key is work hard because like, you can achieve high stuff if you keep working hard. Very inspirational right here. <laughs> Ollie, thank you so much for your time. Once again, congratulations. Thanks, and I'm Tanner Camp with Ollie Smith here on 574 Sports.